And welcome to your Go Market Update Charts of the Day for today, the 30th of March 2023, with Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets today. We had a strong session in the US equity markets overnight, closing near the highs and challenging key levels on the major indices. That 4,000 was breached on the SP 500, which is significant. There's some serious data out over the next two days, uh, starting today and following through to tomorrow. We'll talk about that in a moment. And that may influence market enthusiasm to get into positions over the next two days. US futures are positive in early Asian trading and Asian indices are following that positive US lead from last night. ASX is up around 0.8%. European equity futures are also pointing to a mildly higher open. The VIX continues lower and is now below 22 support, suggesting market calming is in place. US dollar index was slightly higher yesterday, primarily on Japanese yen weakness. Not a lot of movement today so far, uh, possibly a bit of profit taking on those who made money out of some of the yen crosses yesterday. Gold is trading mid-range, still below 2,000, around the 1965 level when we last looked. And copper has also paused to remain range-bound in the short term. All retraced from the top of its range, despite EIA data last night showing a bigger drawdown than expected. One would have expected that would be bullish for all, rather than see it drop off. Uh, Bitcoin is at the top of the range, iron resistance, despite regulatory concerns. It's back over 28,000. Be interesting to see how that pans out over the next couple of days as well. We've got, as we said, some significant data over the next two days. Today we've got consumer confidence in the economic bulletin report out of the Eurozone and German inflation data. Tonight we've got US GDP, weekly jobs and Q on Q PCE data. Tomorrow, the more important and the measure the Fed likes to watch in terms of inflation is the year on year PCE. Lots for the markets to digest over the next couple of days. Let's just have a look at what's happening in a couple. We're going to have a look at the Aussie yen. You can see there we move back up to the top of this range that it's been in before. This, this 89 cent level looks really quite important, but we've seen that pullback from it this morning. And you can see there we just might be tipping over after this strength yesterday. Possibly some profit taking. Wouldn't be surprised to see it in the first instance if it breaches 88.54, down 25 pips to 88.25, and possibly all the way down to 88 if that momentum continues. Surprising to see the Aussie dollar so strong against the yen. This drop here was on the back of that inflation data that came out of Australia. On the ASX, PLS is looking strong. It is tackling that key four dollar level we referenced yesterday which is where the 200 EMA is sitting. It is at the high of the session, just edging up very, very slightly. If we do get some buying into this, we could certainly see it up in the short term, around about 10% up to 447. That's definitely on the cards, but we need to see it push up from this level right now. You can see that short term EMA is above pointing to the upside as well. High volume days, last couple of days on this move higher, suggesting that this may be gathering some momentum to take it upwards. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.